Yeah, it's fine now. Uh, Amar, uh, hey, I'm Amarjit. So, hi, Amarjit. Yeah, hi. Hi. Uh, yeah. This meeting is being recorded. Well, the continue, I'm dropping off, okay? Thank you. Sure, thanks. Sure, thank you. Yeah, hi. Hi, Amarjit. Yeah. Uh, I mean, just uh, brief about yourself, please. Sure. Uh, thank you for asking. My name is Amarjit Kumar. I am having seven plus years of experience. Currently, I am doing Java development. So the technology which I am using is a uh, Java with a Spring Boot microservices, a Spring Cloud component as a backend. Some of the exposures in front end as Angular nine. Also, I have a good experience in AWS cloud services. Uh, so most of the services I use for the deployment and development. Uh, coming for this database, which I have a Mongo and Oracle. Uh, Mongo is no SQL and Oracle is a SQL which I am using for this and all the DevOps tools I use like Apache, Maven, Jenkins, Jira, GitHub, ELK, Splunks and all for this development and monitoring developing the applications. So these all are the tech stack which I have experience coming for the domain like I have good experience in banking, telecom, e-commerce and health insurance projects. So currently I am working based on health insurance projects. So that project is nothing but a portal where we are providing a customer to come in the portal and take whatever the insurance you want either maybe health term and all after that we will process the data for this customer uh, orders once the order will be created then we have to check the particular uh, stores and uh, what are the uh, payments and calculations notifications promo and all so that type of things we have to internally will call so my role and responsibility this project like we are following agile so based on the agile uh, uh, we are uh, whatever the sprint task will be defined we need to work on that uh, so mostly uh, we are doing a microservice development here so whatever the uh, with the spring boot with the help of a spring boot so daily uh, as per the requirement we need to develop some of the cases will have a third party calls and all will be there like uh, so for that we will expose the services or maybe uh, calls of third party services and all in that cases we'll go for the rest template or maybe a kafka also i used uh, coming forward like a uh, while we have developed the applications now there will be some deployments and all will happen so if the deployment will happen in this uh, different environment so that will go for the production while it will go for the production then we have or uh, take care of all those things like what are the uh, configuration changes which I have done from my side what are the changes of code and what are the logs message which we are printed is coming properly or not as per the response so that things we need to check uh, uh, yeah so the daily activities we are we are doing like this so uh, so Amajit, you have worked java 8 right yeah okay so in java 8 what all the new features uh i mean uh, are there and uh what is the advantage if we are using in our day-to-day -day, uh i mean uh, coding activity so just like just uh in java 8 mostly we use the features of like uh, uh uh, Lambda expressions functional interface and uh, stream APIs uh, optionals method reference and all so on day to day to day activities which we are performing in that cases we mostly we use the Lambda expressions functional interface so you are well aware of these uh, I mean Java 8 functionality and all right yes yes all right so what uh, I mean how many uh, functional interface we are having it in java 8 uh yeah already we have already some of the functional interfaces which is there in already like uh, lambda uh, like compatible uh, is there uh, com uh, clonable is there serializable is there so these all are the uh, functional interface in that uh, single abstract method uh, uh, are there in java 8 which all they have introduced new one Sorry, your voice is not coming properly. Uh, Can you hear me now? Uh, yeah. Hello? Yes. I mean, I mean to say, uh, like we are having it. Uh, I mean, some of the inter functional interface we are having in Java 8, right? So yes. I just wanted to know about those. Some of the functional interface uh, is having in Java 8. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, that is clear. Uh, but uh, which one? Uh, not sure. I think. What are the main component of a stream? A stream will have a like a map will be there, flat map will be there, collectors will be there, uh, collect uh, will be there, and then uh, filters, max, mean, sort. Okay. No, I mean to say, what are the main component of a stream? Hope you are able to hear me properly. Main of stream. Can you repeat once again? I mean to say, what are the main components of a stream? A stream main component of a stream. Uh... All right, all right. What is the difference between intermediate and terminal operations? Uh, intermediate and terminal operations like uh, intermediate will have uh, like uh, uh, filters, max, min and all will be the intermediate operation. Terminal will have uh, like uh, collectors is there and uh, map, flat maps and all will be the terminal operation. What is, the, what is the difference between map and flat map? Map is used for like a single employee of uh, entity will be processed and uh, a flat map is used for like suppose if you have a list of employee details we want to process by using that so uh, by using a stream so in that cases we can use for the flat map so all the list of employee details will be processed can you override uh, uh, a private method or a static method in java no we cannot override private and static method because private uh, visible in the same classes uh, and uh, uh, so a uh, private method won't be, be visible and uh, static will be loaded on the class uh, time okay uh, what is the difference between cyclic uh, barrier and counter ledge in java uh, cyclic barrier and counter ledge is a part of thread which will be using uh, while we are calling uh, multiple processing uh, uh, executions in the same time so uh, cyclic barriers will be like uh, we have multiple process or uh, multiple uh, threads are there in that cases uh, that will be dependent from one to another as a cyclic uh, like uh, that is called and countdown lights is uh, countdown lights I think it's used for some uh, while uh, one thread is executing another is waiting condition in that cases uh, that will be for but okay uh, what is the difference between serialization and deserialization serialization is useful while we are sending the data from one uh, class to other classes or network then in that cases we'll go for the deserialization so serializations will have a unique id that is called serial version uid so that if you will mention then whatever the data will be uh, send it in the byte stream byte form that will be uh, as a encoded so if users uh, will uh, on the other side if they want to deserialize then in that cases there will be some unique id based on that like uh, serial version uid so through that they can deserialize the code and they will so for lambda expression separate dot class will be generated or not uh, for lambda expression, no, for the particular classes, only dot class file will be generated, not for the separate lambda expression. Okay, this is the area of skin. I would like to ask some, uh, I mean, problem. Mm -hmm. Just a Are you able to see my screen? Oh, yes, I am able to see your screen. Okay. Uh, let me ping you.
given a string find first of all. Yeah, one second, I'll just say in string as well. Uh, we'll make it this program with Java. Okay. Java, okay. Take any UI compiler, online ID, anything. Sure. So it's fine. Non find the first non repeating character. Find the first non repeating character. Okay. Find the first non repeating characters here. So I want this one. String input is Java is MS sums non repeating characters. So output will be J, right? Yeah, 